Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Pierre, and as I was getting dressed after painting, I was thinking about conceptual art. You know, that art that started in the middle of the 20th century? Personally, I think it started in around 1905 with Matisse and his movement called the Fool, where they would paint a face, for example, and they would put bright colors next to each other, pinks next to green, next to blues. And then just a couple of years later, you had Braque and Picasso and Cubism was born. And that's what changed everything because beauty was no longer in the eyes of the beholder. Beauty became an intellectual conception. It's not what you saw that was beautiful. It's what you could imagine that was beautiful. Now, in conceptual art, Take a little thimble, okay, a little sewing thimble. Blow it up to the size of a bus. Make it out of bronze. Sell it to a little village, put it on the main square, and boom, suddenly you're a wonderful artist. Well, this is when I don't feel very comfortable with that whole idea. And to be honest with you, I think it's a load of crap. That concept of art is for the elite that little group of intellectuals who like to think of themselves as great thinkers, those who can analyze what the artist had in his mind, the deeper meaning of the object that they're looking at. You know, this is what uh, happens when just about everything has been done in the art world. So you do, you try to think of new ideas to shock people, to uh, astonish people, but Basically, it always comes down to the same thing. You put down on paper, you try to sell your idea either to a gallery or to a museum or to a village or a city or to a town hall. And that really is not what art is all about. Art is not about selling oneself or selling one's idea. Art is about creativity. It's about feeling. It's about expressing what you feel deep within you. It's about expressing how the world makes you feel. Joy, sadness. It's the suffering that surrounds you. It's expressing what's in your most deepest inner self. So, tell me what you think. What do you think about conceptual art? Well, make sure you leave your thoughts down below. And I'll say, ciao mes amis.